My guess is if you've been thinking about hormone therapy, you have been worried about weight gain. I bet one of the first things you did was take to trusty old Google and ask the internet if anyone has gained weight on hormone therapy. And sadly, you may have gotten some answers that made your fears only that much bigger. So the question is, does hormone therapy cause weight gain? In this video, I'm going to break down the research that shows it does not, luckily for you, and I'm going to also go over some strategies that you can use with your doctor or your clinician if you are finding that you're putting on a few pounds at the same time as you started on your hormone therapy. So if you want to learn about the real truth about hormone therapy and its effect on your weight and your metabolism, then this video is for you. If you don't know me, I'm Dr. Heather Hirsch, and I'm the clinical program director of the Menopause and Midlife Clinic at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, where I see patients just for menopause consults. Not only do we talk about menopause, but we also, also talk about perimenopause, the time leading up to menopause, in which there can also be weight gain in that period. I also cover a ton about sexual health, bone health, breast health, and more. And if you want to see me, if you live in the Northeast, I will drop the link in the number to my clinic below. I also host a podcast, Women's Health by Heather Hirsch, and I discuss totally different topics and a little bit more personal detail about me, my life, and my clinic over there. So definitely check that out because it is totally different content and new episodes come out every week. Wednesday. All right, so getting into the main point of today's video, why is there such a fear that hormone therapy causes weight gain? Well, that's because it is everywhere. You cannot go anywhere without being sold the idea that whatever you're going to do, especially if it's going to be healthy or good for you, could cause weight gain. Now, remember losing weight and the targeting of women, particularly at midlife and at menopause for weight loss is a massive billion, if not trillion dollar industry. So you are being groomed to be led to believe that just because you're going to go into menopause and or if you take hormone therapy, you are going to gain weight. But the research is going to tell us absolutely otherwise. Now, let's also think this through kind of strategically. So if you think about when we get into menopause, our metabolism slows down a lot, and the slowing of the metabolism is related to the loss of estrogen, right? So think about that. When you lose estrogen, that's when your metabolism slows. So even if you put that together, why would it make sense if we add a teeny bit of estrogen that you would gain weight? It doesn't. And remember premenopausally and even perimenopausally when you were making tons of estrogen, when you had to drop a few pounds in just a few days for that dance you were going to or that dinner party you were going to, you could. And when you were younger, you had tons of estrogen. So again, the idea that estrogen replacement is going to cause weight gain also doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, many of you might think about or point to birth control pills, which we use to prevent pregnancy, and I use them for numerous other reasons. And there has been a similar association with birth control pills linked to weight gain, but those have also been debunked. So they have done big randomized controlled trials where they give some women birth control pills and some women pl placebo. And they let them out into the world and they see if one group had more weight gain than the other. And studies have shown over and over again that there's no clinically or statistically significant difference in weight gain between the women on placebo or nothing and the women who took birth control pills. Now, a lot of women start birth control pills for the first time when they go off to college. And when they go off to college, they have different lifestyles and different patterns. They may stay up really late, they may sleep in, they may start drinking alcohol, their food choices are totally different. And oftentimes when you go off to college, you gain weight. So the association of going off to college and starting birth control pills and weight gain were all clumped together, but a lot of people incorrectly made the link that birth control pills cause weight gain. This could be one reason why a lot of people make the link that postmenopausal estrogen replacement causes weight gain, but again, studies show that it doesn't. Now, a lot of you have been requesting that I put the studies in the link below, so if you want to see any of these studies in further detail, please look in the description bar below. 
This study here from 2000 actually was even before the Women's Health Initiative really instilled fears about the use of hormone therapy. And it showed that women who took hormone therapy in the estradiol form, which is bioidentical, but remember you want to use FDA approved bioidentical hormone therapy. And definitely look here for the video I did on the safety of bioidentical hormone therapy. But the women who took bioidentical hormone therapy in this random clinical trial did not show any weight gain that was clinically or statistically significant. So what does that mean? Clinically significant, of course, just means a clinical consideration, something that physician thinks is directly related to something that they are taking or doing. So if you gain two pounds, three pounds, that's not considered clinically significant. Now that may be significant for you. I get it. And just having had a baby and being a couple pounds overweight and not fitting into your clothes, I can honestly empathize with how frustrating even a few pounds can be, but clinically it's not all that significant. Now, statistically significant means that they didn't see a big change between the placebo group or the women who took the postmenopausal hormone therapy that could have been due to anything other than the pill, meaning maybe women did gain or lose a few pounds in each arm, but it couldn't have been linked to specifically one thing. Okay, moving on, another study was done in 2020, just in case you were thinking, well, that could be really old. Again, looking at estradiol and progesterone in a combination tab and found no clinically or statistically significant increase in weight. And again, this is really, really important because research, evidence-based studies are showing no increase in weight. And lastly, this study here, which was a long-term study of the the larger study called the DOPS trial or the Danish Osteoporosis Prevention Trial, which was primarily looking at the use of estrogen to help with bone health, found that long term there was again no statistically or clinically increased risk of weight gain in the women who took hormone therapy. And with those three studies aside, I scoured everything on PubMed, which is the biggest source for all of the research articles that are out there. And there was no really good studies showing any increase in weight gain. And in fact, the majority of studies showed that it either helped to prevent weight gain, or it did in some women cause some weight loss. But again, I really want to drill this point home that research, evidence-based research done within the United States and other studies have not linked estrogen replacement, a tiny postmenopausal dose of estrogen to any clinically or statistically significantly meaningful weight gain. So this is really good news for you if you are considering hormone therapy, but very fearful of weight gain. And I want to come back to your fears one more time because you might be asking yourself, but what about all the people in that Facebook group? Well, remember a Facebook group is a random selection of people who use the internet, usually to either write about their gripes about something or their overwhelming support of something. Now remember, metabolism slows at menopause. And so a lot of women are gaining weight and they may be doing this at the same time that they are thinking about hormone therapy or that they start on hormone therapy. My clinical and personal opinion is that a lot of times women are started on way too low of a dose that's not effective and they may be gaining weight but starting hormone therapy at the same time and again considering that they are linked just like women thought that taking birth control pills caused weight gain they're thinking starting my hormone therapy caused weight gain but there really could be something else that is happening and is not a direct correlation. Also remember too, this is a very unpopular opinion, but a majority of the time weight is really because of what we are eating or that we are not exercising. Dietary choices being more important for weight loss and exercise being really more important for maintaining your weight. Make sure if you think that the hormone therapy is the only reason that you are having weight gain, that you journal and track every single piece of food that you are eating, including licks and bites and maybe even sniffs, because if we are not journaling and tracking and we are using something external to really sort of say, this is what's causing the weight gain, that is very easy to do because it means that we do not need to make any habitual changes, but the majority of the time, and of course I have to be the barrier of bad news, weight gain 
is often what we are choosing to eat. Okay, now as promised, I also wanna go over what can you do if you find that you are gaining weight on your hormone therapy. Now, I just said it is not clinically or statistically significant, but that doesn't mean you might gain a few pounds on your hormone therapy at the beginning, and that might make you feel really, really nervous, or you might be the random outlier, and again, very, very rare, but the very rare outliner who has felt very convinced either by journaling or tracking and removing external or other sources of weight gain that it is their hormone therapy. So what can you do? Well, there are some studies to show that when you first start, you can rehydrate your body. That's why your skin might look better. That's why your breast tissue might feel better. And that rehydrating or holding on to some fluid or water can certainly translate into a few pounds that you see on the scale. Now, that can be very frustrating if your clothes fit differently, but sometimes this is transient and it tends to go away. Sometimes, some of my women will decrease the progesterone, not the estrogen, the progesterone. Now, progesterone is the hormone that rises before our period. It can cause us to feel bloating and it can cause some water retention. That's also what's happening if we get pregnant in the first trimester, progesterone is taking over and it can cause us to hold on to water. So one of the things that you can do is decrease the dosage of your progesterone or decrease the days that you take your progesterone. And I'll link here a video I did on how to take take progesterone because there are many different ways you can do it. Or for some women, they'll go so far as to have an IUD inserted so they don't have to have the systemic effects of progesterone. I talk about this all the time and as you might suspect, I also have a video on how and why to use an IUD at perimenopause and menopause. But if bloating or a few pounds of weight are a problem for you and you've really linked it to the progesterone, then an IUD could certainly be a good way to go. Now you might be asking yourself, should I decrease the estrogen dose? There is no good evidence to show that decreasing your estrogen dose is going to cause any difference in weight. And clinically, meaning what I see is seeing hundreds, if not thousands of women so far, is that changing the estrogen dose often just brings about the symptoms that they came to see me for initially and doesn't change their weight at all. Another thing that you could do after you've journaled and tracked, you've tried to decrease the progesterone dose, is you could add a B6, which is a natural diuretic, Try 50 milligrams one to three times a day, ask your doctor before doing so, or try adding magnesium at bedtime, 250 to 500 milligrams, which can help relieve gentle constipation and sometimes bloating, and that can make you feel like your weight is stable. Just a side note too, for all of my ladies in midlife and in menopause, definitely consider weight-bearing exercises because that is going to rev up your metabolism and you're going to burn more calories while you are doing things that are not aerobic or anaerobic, like sitting here and watching my YouTube videos. And lastly, I did a whole video here that you might wanna to watch too on why I think estrogen actually helps you lose weight. Yes, I think estrogen helps a lot of my patients actually lose weight, and again, studies show that because they start to sleep and they feel significantly better. When we feel better, in general, we're more inclined to eat better and get that workout in because we feel really good about the lives that we are living. So now you guys know a little bit more about the research, and to answer your question, does hormone therapy cause weight gain? No, the answer is no. I wish I could go out to my roof and shout it from the rooftops. Hormone therapy does not cause weight gain. I believe this is another fear being instilled in you by the media for whatever reason, either so that you buy into weight loss supplements or weight loss plans, or so that you don't take hormone therapy and you don't feel good and you don't continue to thrive and stay at the peak of your game. So hormone therapy does not cause weight gain. It's not only my opinion, but research definitely also proves this. Now that you know a little bit more, if you wanna go really, really in depth, again, I definitely recommend my course, The Complete Guide to Menopause, everything you ever wanted to know that your doctor never told you, I go through so much evidence-based research here. I get into so many different things. And Kim Schlug, my good friend, added a module here on weight. So that's all included in my course. If you want to check it out, the link is also in the description bar below. The first lesson is free. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Thank you guys a million for subscribing to my channel. If you have watched a ton of my videos and not yet hit the subscribe button, please do so because it tells the YouTube algorithm that this channel is the premier place to get evidence-based information on all things perimenopause and menopause 
from a menopause expert herself. So please go ahead and subscribe, like this video is helpful, and comment below, did you think hormone therapy caused weight gain before this? Did you know that birth control pills do not cause weight gain and they have not been shown to do so in large randomized controlled trials? Has this been fascinating for you? And what other topics do you want me to cover? If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. I'd let you guys weigh in on all of these topics here and let me know exactly what you want to hear about. Thank you guys so much. I will see you next week for a new video. Bye everyone.